Hello everybody and welcome back to a, another video of Tro. Today we are going to be in the public test server as you can see because I want to show off a few new things that have actually been added to the public test server and as you can see um, this costume is one of them. They've actually added a new extra life pack which I can't show you unfortunately in the store. I will try to include a picture of it if I can find one but I'm going to go over some of the things that this, um, that the pack includes. I'm going to skip over the styles. I will include, <clears throat> I will include, um, two of the styles because I find them really cool and funny and <laughs> I like that they added them in the game. So, um, first off, let's talk about this egg. Now, the Extra Life pack, or it's not actually called Extra Life, it has the Extra Life logo, but it's called something else I forgot. But, um, this pack actually gives you only one Dormant Lightning Egg, despite having two dragons on the cover of it. One of them is the Lightning Dragon Egg, obviously, because I have the egg. And the other one is the Corgi Dragon, which, that's also on the... <clears throat> <laughs> oh jeez, that's also on the cover of the thing, but I just assume the dormant egg's not even in the game yet, or maybe you just only get the lightning egg. So, this costume is also one of the, I think there's a four costumes, I don't remember, but this one is called the Sky Sunder Sniper, and it's pretty much like, you know, just an all-out purple costume, it kind of reminds me of the Shadow Shroud, or whatever it's called. It has the same V effects, I think, as a Shadow Shroud. It's just purple with, like, um, the electricity stuff. But anyway, um, let's go to the Dino Tamer, because I think the Dino Tamer also has one. Ignore this ally. <laughs> we'll talk about the ally in a bit. But I don't think this costume came with a hat, because I don't, you know, I think I was looking and then, you know, I couldn't find one. So this is actually... The Blockter. Now, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the Doctor from Doctor Who or whatever. You know, <laughs> it kind of looks cool, but I'm not going to be using this skin. I'm going to be using the Empowered Gem skin, like the Empowered Gem Box um, costume that comes out. But this, you know, this costume looks pretty nice, too. It was made by um, Greg Googly Moogly, which I've seen him um, in a few places, but <clears throat> voice crack there. Oops, wrong menu. <laughs> There's, I don't know, I'm not used to making these types of videos, so sorry if I'm, like, you know, stuttering and not, you know, getting to the point right away. It's pretty much my first time making one of these, but I wanted to make this video, actually, because, um, going to tomb, the Tomb Razor, I wanted to make this video because, um, I don't know if you can even buy the pack anymore, and if people who didn't buy the pack, and if, like, if you didn't get the pack in PTS, and if you can't anymore, then I want to make this video, to, you know, to show the people who can't buy it what you actually get in the pack. So, this is, I believe, the Stone Shaper costume, and this costume actually has, um, unique other costumes for the little allies, and... These ones look cool. I especially like the ultimate because it's like, you know, it's just a purple guy and it looks like he has a spiked ball as a hand, you know, and it looks really cool, but, you know, not one of my favorite costumes, but, you know, I like it. I, I appreciate what it is. And this was also made by Zamata. Zamata, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. And so we did Dino Tamer, Shadow Hunter, Tomb Raider, and now I think the last one is a knight. So, the knight actually has a skin called the uh, <clears throat> Platinum Paladin, and I actually really, really like this skin. It makes a knight look really skinny, at least to me. I don't know why. It just make him, makes him look really skinny, I don't know. So, I like this skin. I generally like a lot of stuff that's, you know, just plain white. I don't know. Just the purple, white, and the fact that he has, like, a crown on his head just makes it look really cool. And, let's see, the ultimate is just a blue cube. I don't know if um, this is like just a, like I don't know if this um, color alt has like, it's on another costume or if this is like a unique one. And his dash ability, it's kind of like, it looks like a radiant kind of theme, you know? It's like light blue and um, <clears throat> yellow, but <laughs> enough about that. I think those are all the costumes. Let me actually go back to the Shadow Hunter. 
<coughs> no, coughing, <laughs> coughing attack. So this is also um, where where is it? This mounts is also one of the like it's one of the mounts that you get from it, and this one's actually special because it's a gliding mount. And I just like this mount in general because of how small it is. I'm, I'm just attracted to, like, it's everything that you sit in, like, something you sit in that's just really small. I don't know. It's just really funny. And the fact that, like, from behind, it just looks like you're in just, like, a little circle because you can't see the spout at the top, you know, the tea kettle. And this mount actually has an ally that's a Stream of Dream ally. It's actually a mug to go with this. But... Unfortunately, I don't have the Stream of Dream allies on BTS. I only have them on main, so I can't actually show you. But anyway, let's actually go to the allies. I have, I think I have all of these guys, like the allies on my favorites, just to make this a little bit easier. But before that, actually, let me go and show you the heads. Now, this is the Data Dome by Humpy Pants. I believe this is the old Alpha head. You know, back from Alpha, it might look a little bit different. I don't know if it's actually the exact same Alpha head, but pretty close if it actually is. So, <laughs> the main appeal of this is like, you know, just a very long head. And look, all the dead space that's just, you know, in the middle, like in the bottom middle, that looks like you could just slap on a huge face there, and it would probably look gold. But, like, you know, golden. <laughs> Golden as in something. I don't know where I was going with that. But anyway, the next head that I wanted to show off is the Mudkip head, which is actually called the uh, Dipper Kipper. And, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if the devs don't even know that this is Mudkip. But um, he kind of has some metallic blocks going on, like, on the side. I don't know if these are actually metallic blocks. I think they're metallic blocks, but... You know, it looks cool, especially at night when it kind of, like, glows like this. And just when you pan your camera around them, you can actually, you know, see them kind of light up. So that's for the, um, like, those are, that's that for the costumes and the helmet styles. Well, not all the helmet styles, but those are just the ones that I really, you know, wanted to show. So the other thing, or things, I should say. <laughs> I'm not used to the navigating this menu, so sorry if I'm, like, really slow. And... Uh, for for whatever reason, they actually have the Powerpuff Girls, like, the face. I don't know, that's really weird. <laughs> like, Blossoming Boss Lady Bubbly Bliss. Like, Tomboy Tuffy. <laughs> what even is this? But anyway, these are actually all the new Extra Life mounts. Um, I don't know if I'm actually missing an Extra Life mount, mount, because I did try to go and favorite them all, so I would have easier access to them. But here we have, I think this was Powered Wheelchair. Yeah, the Powered Wheelchair by... Great Googly Moogly. I've actually seen this on the forums a lot. And, um, I would say this is a mod of the log, but he doesn't sit when he's on the log. The only reason why I want to say it's a mod of the log is because of the wheels, how they slowly go, like, it tilts up and then it goes back a little. And I believe that's the, you know, the idle animation for the log mod. So that's the only reason why I want to say it's a. You know, it's the log, but I don't know. It might be something else, but I think it's the log. So this is actually a really funny mount. I especially like when he jumps, like, I don't know, just something looks weird. It looks like he jumps a lot higher off the ground than he should, but that's just the mountain because of it, how it's how small it is. So anyway, let's go. I'm, <laughs> I can't navigate, these, navigate the list to save my life, can I? So allies... No, um, mounts. <laughs> I'm getting too ahead of myself here. Um, so we have the light gunship, which this is one of the two mounts that's actually a gliding mount. The other one I just showed you was a tea kettle mount. I actually really like the theme of this one, you know, like, w um, white and kind of glowing blue. I really like, you know, like I said, I like blue and I like white. Mix them together and it's like, yes, I need this thing. I really like the fact that you know, it's just a UFO, so you're just in an adventure world, and you see someone flying past you with a UFO, and it's like, it's just magical, and it's awesome. Awesomeness and magical. So anyway, <clears throat> sorry, I'm kind of losing my voice here because I'm an idiot, but that's besides the point. Mounts, not allies. So we have the Bouncing Beehive that is made by, I think, yeah, Araby. So those of you who don't know Araby, pretty much, I th I'm pretty sure she's the... Um, girl streamer that actually uses the 
um, Faye and the bee costume, which I'm pretty sure that's her because that would make sense. You know, the beehive and the bees and all that. So this is actually a, you know, it's a pretty decent mount for what it is. Um, me specifically, I don't like the ball mounts. Like I'm not, I've never been a big fan of the ball mounts. So, you know, it still looks nice. If not for the fact that the bees, if it was just a beehive mount, then it would be meh. But the fact that there's bees actually, you know, flying around this, it actually makes it look a lot better. So let's see. I think we only got a few more of these mounts left. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of like tedious because I got to click so many things just to get to the mount tab. So we have this wolf, which, you know, I, I like the wolf. Um, I was actually, I used to be a really big fan of the corgis, you know, back when that was like, you know, one of the only mounts and it was actually um, <clears throat> really good to get a corgi. But these days it's like, you know, it's just a corgi. It's cool, but it's just a corgi. And I don't know what that's supposed to be on his, um, you know, like, chest. I think that's supposed to be, like, a little bag. You know, like, you flip open the red part. But, I don't know, to me, it kind of looks like a Pokeball, except there's that little black spot on top of the white spot. But I know it's not supposed to be a Pokeball, but it just looks like that. The blue one here, that's supposed to be another bag, I guess. Like, these are both bags. Well, three of them. I, d I actually didn't even notice the blue and purple one. So, let's go on. I think there's only a couple more mounts. Maybe, like, one. Let's see. For the mounts. And we have... Yeah, wait. Yeah, we already did this one. So, let's go to the de the dessert rhino. So, pretty sure this is a rhino. And this one actually has a unique skeleton. I'm pretty sure this is a unique skeleton. Some people said it was, like, the... <clears throat> It was the same skeleton as the bull. I don't think it is. Act like, I don't think it's a bull skeleton. I'm pretty sure it's not. Because the bulls don't, like, bob their heads like that. So, pretty sure this is actually a unique skeleton. This is not the horse, like, skeleton. Because that skeleton kind of, like, gallops. Where this one, like, you know, is just running. But, <laughs> looks cool. I was really a big fan of the candied mounts. Like, um, all of all the mods that people made. And I like the fact that he has, um... You know, like he has a, <laughs> then ice cream cone as a horn. I really like that. And like the fact that it's all mint and stuff. I don't know. Just something about this I really like. So I think that's it for the mounts. Let me actually go to the ally part. Because I'm pretty sure that's the only, like that's the last thing that we have. And we actually have a few allies. So this might take a while. So first of all, actually let me put that on. <laughs> so first of all, we have the, I think the silver fang. Yeah, Silver Fang Pup, and with these allies, I'm actually going to show the dance too. So, <laughs> I've never actually seen the um, the dog allies dance. At least I don't think I did because I don't, I didn't know. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I don't actually have the other extra life pack even on main. Like, well, I think I have it here on PTS, but I don't actually own it on the main server. I never actually bothered buying it. I do know that it's d the Double Dragon pack. I've just never bought it. So this is his dance. I'm not going to bother showing up the other dog's dance because, you know, it's the same skeleton and all that. But anyway, let me go to the other dog ally, which is a husky, which I wish I could rotate the camera like this because it would, you know, it would save me a lot of um, time for the menus. But this um, husky pup is actually one of my favorites just because, you know, I like the color scheme. It's like a, it has blue eyes, you know, like a... <laughs> Like a lot of huskies do, and it's act and it's also got like the blackish, grayish fur. It kind of looks like dim gray on my screen. I think it's supposed to be be just black. But anyway, let's go on over to the next one, which is the <clears throat> snow thing. <laughs> yeah, the text is also really small on my um, monitor, so if I can't read it the first time because of how small it is, then I'll just skip over it. So this is actually a. a Pretty cool little bird ally that has glasses. It kind of looks like an owl if you're not, like, you know, looking at it, um, right? I don't know if it's meant to be an owl. I don't think it is. It looks like one because of the glasses, but let's see. The dance is, yeah, this is not a good, <laughs> that's not a good dance. But anyway, that's pretty much how it dances. I think there was also a bird skeleton in the other Extra Life. I don't know. Like I said, I've never actually um, bought that back, so I don't know what's actually in it. And this one, which is actually one of my favorite birds, because it's actually a hummingbird. I'm pretty sure this is a hummingbird. And 
Actually, I don't know if it's a hummingbird. Um, yeah, it's a hummingbird. Okay, so <laughs> so this one I'm pretty sure has the same dance as the other one. Yeah, it's just kind of um, swaying from back and forth. But anyway, one of my favorite birds because of just the color scheme. I like how it's just so many different colors and it looks really cool. But anyway, you know, because I'm like a big fan of rainbow colors and all that. Anyway, I know I keep saying anyway because the word of the day is anyway. <laughs> the word of the day is also voice crack because that's a thing. So we have the Tuxedo Cat, which, to be honest, not one of my favorites. I'm not a big fan of the shock, the, you know, the shock skeleton, the monkey. Because, you know, it. I don't like it. Like, the LA looks cool as it is, you know. You know, I respect how it looks. I just don't like this skeleton. The dance is funny, but other than that, I really don't care for the, you know, I don't care for the skeleton at all. And one, I think it's the next one that's actually really, I can't navigate this menu to save my life. Um, yeah, the next one, this one is downright creepy. I don't, who, who made this? Who? <laughs> Radnar. I think I've actually seen him. I don't remember, but I, for one, I don't know why he's holding a rocket. I don't know if it says that in the description. Playful nature, belly is the, Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say anything, but it's. A, it, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a platypus that's just holding a rocket. If, um, as you can see, it's the same skeleton as a tuxedo cat, you know, as Shock, but something about it. I think it's just eyes, how the eyes are just, like, you know, on the side. It, it scares me. It's, it's really weird. But, let's see. Next ally, runner-up. Let's see. So this is actually, I, I was actually happy when I saw this in the game because I've seen Biello post this. A while ago and I actually really like the block dragon so I'm actually glad that this one got in the game so the, the um, this dragon ally is it pretty much functions like all the other dragons where it has you know the percentage incoming or health and then it has the uh, you know like a percentage a percentage chance to actually inflict damage like burning them like burning enemies when you hit them I think it's when you hit them so anyway Let's go to, actually, did I show off its stance? Yes, I don't, <laughs> you probably can't see that, but here it is. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen the, like, the the dragon allies dance. These allies are really, really big, though, I, I, I just noticed. I don't know if it's um his ally specifically that's big, but it's really big. So we have another, ooh, this is actually a bat. This looks cool. What's its stance? The same one as a bird, I assume? I don't think that's the same dance. I think this is actually like a unique one. I actually really like them. This reminds me of something. I I can't remember the the scarf that's on his back. Really, really reminds me of another game or at least a video that I've watched. But that looks really cool. So it's made by. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen that person too. <laughs> it's made by. D doesn't even bother to say the name. You guys can read. So we got the planting possum that's actually supposed to, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to look like squeakers. Yeah, you know, it's not going to be squeakers because um, this is a possum, whereas squeakers is a sugar glider. So this one's dance is actually, I think I have seen, yeah, I've seen this one dance. And it's like, this is one of the weirdest dances that I've actually seen in this game. <laughs> it's like someone walks up to you. And then they see this. It's so horrifying. It's I don't even know what is happening, but it, it's it's hilarious nonetheless. And I think the next ally is a reskin of that. Yeah, it's a reskin. I like this one a lot more. This reminds me. This is really familiar. I don't know if this is from a game. I I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. Like this exact like, you know, like how this is, but probably you know being crazy. But anyway. It's just another um, reskin. I like this one a lot more than the possum. Um, I'm sure a lot of people will agree with me on that. But anyway, let's go. Nope. I can't navigate these menus. Okay, so we actually got a couple more left. We have a hamster that's actually, you know, a unique um, model type, I'm pretty sure. Let's dance. And <laughs> this one I actually really like. It's it's one of those things where you think he's, you know, cleaning a window or something. You could easily put a picture of a window, you know, next to him and then just say he's cleaning a window and he's enjoying cleaning that window. <laughs> and the fact that, like, his mouth opens every time, I don't know, just something about his, 
like really hilarious and cute at the same time. So anyway, we got one of my favorite allies actually, the one that um, you may have seen at the beginning of the video is this mimic chest ally and really reminds me of um <clears throat> really reminds me of Banjo Kazooie in the Treasure Trove Cove area. That's actually immediately what I thought about when I saw this guy, just you know, on a on a lot smaller smaller scale. So when you dance with him, he, it's actually you know just him flapping <laughs> the top open and you know just him munching on air. I don't know. But anyway, that's it with that one. And it's really funny when he runs after you because he it looks like he wants to eat you every single time like he runs after you. So anyway, I know I keep saying anyway because you know the word is anyway. It also got a fox head, which I'll just show that right now. It looks cool, but. <laughs> <clears throat> You know, I was, I'm trying to refrain from saying anything, and now, anyway, but now, I can't even navigate a menu now. I think I'm becoming dope sheet. So we got a seahorse, an obvious new skin, I'm pretty sure. Uh, model, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't remember seeing this model in the other one. So this guy's actually really cool because, you know, his dance is just him going in a circle like a big derp that he is. It's like, they couldn't even bother making a dance for him, and... <laughs> It's just him going in a circle, so, I don't know, just, I could look at this for a long time, and you would think he would eventually get dizzy, maybe if he was spinning faster he would, but he's not, he's not gonna get dizzy, and my next favorite ally, you know, next up to this, is this, Scapes Go, and guess who it was made by? Scapes. Yes, Scapes. So this is Scapes Goat, it is literally a goat strapped to a rocket, and this is probably one of the most absurd things I've ever seen in Trove, especially <laughs> its animation. When it runs at you, you know, when it's like going fast, it looks normal. But when it's just like gently following you, it's just swaying from back, it's, you know, swaying from side to side, like just nothing's happening in life. And its dance is actually really cool. The, the flame on the dance, they, you know, they could fix that if they could, but... You know, other, um, other than the flame, his dance is actually really cool. He actually goes on the ground, you know, and starts kicking everywhere, which looks really cool. He's not exactly kicking, I guess, but maybe he is, I don't know. So, I believe that wraps up for what I wanted to show in the pack. And another thing is actually, um, you probably saw it, like, throughout the entire video, but... They actually reverted the text back. I don't know if this is an April Fool's thing. I Like, I really don't know because, you know, it's really closer, you know, all that stuff. But, um, this is what the old text actually looked like before the, like, before they put the black outline on it. So, uh, I don't know, like, if this is a bug or I don't know if they just reverted this. Because I know a lot of people liked it. Some people like the new one. Um... Me, personally, I kind of find it a little bit harder to read than the current one, just because, you know, it lacks, like, a thicker black outline like the current one has, but that's just me. So, anyway, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed this, and hope you, you know, hope you actually kind of get hyped for the pack, and it, it is a $20 pack, I do remember that, so hopefully this, you know, kind of... <laughs> Makes you want to buy the pack a bit more and make you makes you like you know you see all this stuff and I'm probably gonna buy the pack because you know this one actually has like decently cool stuff and I want that Mudkip hat man that Mudkip I want to be Mudkip I want to be the Kip <laughs> so um this video is already like 24 minutes I, I did not plan for it to be that long I didn't know that was it was gonna take this long but with that being said see you later and the Jow is out.